guys and welcome on back to my channel it is me Samalala and if you are new welcome on in thank you so much for stopping by um today I'm bringing you guys a shell challenge that I did um this shell challenge is by Spring Sims and I will have Spring Sims link socials um, in the description below but um, yeah this shell challenge is by Spring Sims and every month he puts out a shell challenge um, this particular shell challenge has a basement and it's kind of on the smaller side so I didn't want to do another house you know a typical home with a basement so I said you know what I want to do a candy shop I knew I wanted to do a community build so I said you know what let me try and do a candy shop but then I was thinking I was like oh my god like how am I going to do a candy shop there are not a lot of options when it comes to candy um, in the Sims and uh, I'm a vanilla player so I can't get any CC so I was like, oh, I don't know. But I said, you know what? Let's just roll with it. Let's just do it. So my color scheme for the candy shop is definitely red and pink. Um, when I think about a candy shop, and I, there are not many candy shops where I live. I don't know if you have any where you live. Uh, I know I grew up. I grew up in the Bronx. I grew up in New York City. Um, and the only candy shop really was like a, in Times Square. They have this big candy shop. But, um, and then we have like little bodegas, you know, little corner stores and whatnot. But never like a dedicated candy shop. And then I was thinking, okay, so now I'm, you know, I'm grown. I got my own family. And we live in this kind of rural type country area. And if there was a candy shop, what would it look like? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and debug and I'm gonna pick out a lot of cottage living stuff because cottage living will definitely give me that vibe that I was looking for so as you can see I'm pulling out stuff because that's what I do I go into debug and I just pull out stuff that I think I will be using you know along the way because it's like you don't want to keep going back and debug it takes forever it really does I don't have um that mod that um, makes your debug items categorize. I don't have that. So it's really hard sometimes to go back and forth for me. Uh, so yeah, so I have these red bins and I was thinking about putting, you know, like all the little flowers in the red bins and then the cottage living fencing and it goes all around the property. Um, I definitely open it up in the back a little bit later, you'll see, because in the back I'm going to have like a little employee, kind of like a twinkle, not twinkle, lord, <sighs> like an enchanting little area, <laughs> let's say that word better, uh, my accent always gets the best of me, but uh, yeah, so um, I, I put out all these flowers because I don't have candy. I would love to have like one of those big lollipops in the front of the um, the bill, but I, I, I didn't have that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to improvise and I'm going to put flowers. So the flowers kind of worked for me. It all kind of worked out. Um, and then I was thinking about, okay, so I'm going to have this candy shop, but I really want it to look like a cafe. So... Along the way, I am definitely going to be adding in um, some cafe uh, tables and chairs for the whole Sim family to go to. You know, you got mom, dad, all the kids. The kids go crazy inside the candy shop. And then what is mom and dad going to do, right? So they can sit outside or sit inside and just relax and have like a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Um, so yeah, so that's what my vision was. And I uh, have a lot, I wanted definitely to have a lot of landscaping around the entire build. I eventually move all the landscaping to the side and that's where I put my tables. Um, keeping with the red and pink theme, I got the red umbrella tables and whatnot. Um, yeah, so that, that, that was my vision for the outside of this shell. I wanted to have it like a cafe. 
I wanted to have it like a nice little peaceful area with benches and tables and the lighting to be very, you know, twinkle. <laughs> oh God, Lord have mercy. Uh, <laughs> but then when you go in the inside, I kind of wanted it obviously a candy shop. So I used all the jars. Well, I used the jars from, I say jars. Uh, I used all the jars from <laughs> Paranormal. Paranormal Debug. Uh, Paranormal is an excellent pack. Uh, I love it. Uh, I think you get your money's worth. You know, a lot of people complain about spending money on packs, but it's the, one of the best stuff packs out there because it has the build and buy items. It all resembles kind of like that New Orleans type feel. Um, their debug items are awesome, and they have gameplay. This is not even a game pack. It's a stuff pack. So go ahead and get your paranormal. You're welcome, Sims, for me. Uh, rep, you know, putting it out there. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to have candy all over, dedicating this whole shop to children. So I have a couple of little toys around, along with the candy jars. I wanted to have um, ice cream, kind of represent like an ice cream parlor with the white uh, countertops. And I have that display unit there. So not only kids can have candy, but they can have ice cream. So the Sim kids are going to be loaded up on some sugar. The energy level is going to be to the roof. Uh, I was thinking about putting like a little reading nook. But then I was like, you know what? Kids don't want to read. <laughs> but kids don't want to read nowadays so I'm like okay I'm going to still put out the chair and I'm going to have the books but it's going to be like for you know granny or grandpa or aunties or whoever at first I have it like in the main area but then I end up you know moving it over to the side or what not um, uh, and then downstairs is really where it gets nothing but kids like downstairs in the basement is a no adult zone type of area because you have video games down there you will see you know in the video um, video games and toys and all that stuff and more candy a whole bunch of candy yeah so that is basically the gist of you know what I was thinking with the candy shop um, uh, so yeah so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Please watch all the way to the end because I give a little walkthrough and all that stuff. Don't skip. <laughs> I got some good music you can have in the background, so don't be skipping. Um, yeah, so if you are new and you enjoy what you're seeing on my channel, hit that subscribe button hit the bell it will let you know when I upload any new content I try my hardest to upload at least two three times a week sometimes it ends up being a week once a week but at least I upload you can expect something all the time so um, sometimes real life gets in the way of things uh, yeah so thank you for supporting me a small youtuber small channel here and I hope to see you guys again. So I am Simarala and I am signing out. Bye guys.
got enough of every melody They all sound the same You stay, we can get away with it Cause you make me love my imperfections Answer all my questions just to show me What's on the other side of inhibition No apologies my baby I do you do cause I'm feeling so good Fantasy 
Digging up treasures and sailing across the sea These are our childhood dreams It's how we used to be When we were kings and queens In our childhood dreams Oh, 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 oh.